What's up, Internet? Hey, Dingleberries. How you doing today? Yes, uh, for the uh, people that have watched me for a long time, I'm wearing my poo hat. I don't really wear this hat often because Colleen makes fun of me, <laughs> but she's not here right now, so I can wear it, gosh darn it, and feel good about it. They call it the poo hat because Colleen thinks I only wear it when I poo. Clearly not pooing right now. Unless I'm wearing a diaper and this is all a trick and I am actually pooping myself. You'll never know! But uh, I'm going to the mall right now because I need a few new items of clothes in my wardrobe. I do not go shopping very often. I definitely don't go clothes shopping. If I ever shop, it's for shoes. Um, I, I have like the same wardrobe that I've had for like five, six years. So I'm gonna go and try to find a few new things. Come along with me. I am currently looking for a new hat. I've tried on like every snapback that they have and it just doesn't fit me right. So now I'm looking at more of these. I don't know. That's kind of cool. That reminds me of MJ a little bit. So I just went to Ford Exchange and got a few things. I got some new pants that kind of feel like Aladdin pants, like MC Hammer pants, but I think they work. I'm pretty excited about it. Next stop, Macy's. All right, just got out of Macy's. Got a couple of collared shirts to look fancy and professional. <laughs> uh, and now I'm headed to H&M. Shopping is done for now. I have bad news. I went into like, four different shoe stores and like there are no high tops for girls at least not in this mall i might have to go online like i know you guys found some uh online for colleen because if you remember she challenged me to find her some high tops so high tops i can't find any yet i'm searching but i did find stuff for me no shoes though huh you want to have a fashion show let's do it oh yeah this is Joshua's outfit overhaul video. All right, Dingleberries, for my first outfit, I wanted to go for something that said beach, business, casual, yet comfortable. So I found these pants that are drawstring pants that taper down near the ankles. I have nothing like this in my wardrobe. It feels good. I feel sexy. Let's try the next outfit. All right, next up on deck, I wanted something that still said business, still said casual, but a darker look. So I got the same pants in a darker color, super casual, yet they still look modern, hip, and cool, right? Awesome! Let's go try on something else. Okay, for this outfit, I wanted to go completely casual, yet slightly urban. So that's why I have the black boots, the same pants, but with a California-inspired shirt. Oh, guess what? What time is it? I'll just check on this watch that goes great with this outfit. But let's be real. I didn't just buy this watch. I actually got it like six years ago at H&M. It's a success. Yes! You rock, Josh. Next outfit. Yay! Oh my gosh, guys. Who's ready for the beach? Who's ready for summertime? This guy. Now, I went to Express for men and found this awesome shirt. I'm wearing blue shorts showcasing the chicken legs. I know you guys love those, right? <laughs> I like to pose douchey because it covers up my insecurities. <laughs> You're a success. You rock. Go get the next outfit. Ooh, time to get sexy. I call this my 50 shades of gray outfit because it has a lot of different colors of gray in it. So Express had that same shirt in a bunch of different colors. So I picked up a few of them, right? Nothing wrong with that. And I'm wearing some nice gray slacks. Up oh, there's dog hair on my crotch. That's okay. Now you guys have to understand, I usually don't shop at stores like Express and Foreign Exchange, but I'm going outside of my box and I feel confident with it. I, uh, mm, yeah, it works. Next and final outfit. Now what you're about to see is nothing new. This is classic Joshua DTV. Now this look is me just being completely comfortable with who I am. And if you want to look like me, you need five things. You need a bandana. You need a be nice to people shirt. You need high tops, one hand in your pocket, and a really douchey expression. Oh yeah. But seriously guys, be confident in who you are in your own style and don't be afraid to step out of the box. Oh yeah. This is Joshua's outfit overhaul video, which is completely not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. 
I promise. I, uh, I didn't realize that this is a vlog, so I needed to get the camera if I wanted to continue this. Thank you so much for watching my fashion makeover. Uh, if you liked a specific outfit, let me know down below. Did you like outfit one, two, three, four, five? I don't remember how many I had. Or just explain the one that you liked and why you liked it in the comment section below. Did you like my chicken legs? I brought them back for you, guys. I'm pretty, pretty proud of those things. I'm really excited about tomorrow because Arnold and I are officially going and searching for what I'm gonna wear at the wedding. I have no idea. I'm not doing a traditional tux. I know high tops are involved. I trust Arnold and he's going to help me out because I need help, obviously. I mean, you saw the outfits that I just wore. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's an exciting day. I love you. Be nice to people and au revoir. And it's blonde. Yeah, cause color is in. It is in. You know, so, but if Jockey likes it. Color's always in. What? See, I know, I know he like the, I know he like the, I know he like the color. Well, if you color. cut me, I bleed chocolate. Stop. Just saying. Once you go chocolate. You, what rhymes with chocolate? I'll, mocklet. Once you go chocolate, then you mm. want a lick. Oh, want a lick. <laughs>